Okay, so as you saw in the video, I had a little play with it in the video, but you probably didn't get to see the full potential of the creation. So I'm now going to uh, drive it around. So first of all, the green smoke, you probably saw that, but I think that looks really cool personally. It fits in with the green of the actual creation. The engine is dangling underneath at one point, which you will see in the time lapse. I had that dangling free, so it would wobble when the truck wobbled. But um, now it is stuck to the bottom of the truck solid because otherwise it gave the problem that um, the truck top wasn't heavy enough on the base. But now it's um, attached it as it lowers the center of mass for the whole thing. So that works pretty well. As you might have missed in the time lapse, the each set of wheels, so each lot of wheels on the axles is on a separate pivot to the main thing so they're not either both of them aren't attached plus the wheels have big suspension which means that when it goes up something for example the wheels like twist and bend and it gives more grip because they're all touching the ground at the same time and i think that makes it look really cool as well turning's a little bit slow and i don't know how to speed it up so i'm sorry about that but um other than that it's a little bit wobbly but it runs pretty well now i'll show you some of the off-roading capabilities you can do it here in fact but it's also got a full interior, and as you can see, it twists when it hits bumps. And the diesel V12 means that it can pull itself up very steep hills. So you can see here we've got a full interior. I guess that was meant to be like a sat-nav. There's a radio, and there is a speedometer, and then we've got the steering wheel. So that's nice. It has room for two people. Now, a lot of people wouldn't notice this, but if you do this, we have two actuators. And these control the doors. I couldn't work out how to put buttons on them. But that's fine. And we're going to go. Now the wheels are prone to falling off. But as I said that's just because there's the wheels in Brick Rigs. These wheels in the Brick Rigs game are um, very easy to knock off. See? I didn't do anything to That time I spawned them in a rock. There we go. And there we go. So um, don't drive into rocks and things too fast. Or the wheels will come off. But other than that, it looks pretty good, um, I, if I don't say to myself. If you guys want to see it, I will build a normal pickup version of the pickup on top. So I'll just literally take off the chassis and build it in with a car chassis instead. And we can see the difference between um, what it looks like when it's on monster truck wheels and what it looks like when it's on normal wheels. Now it uses a few scalable pieces, but hopefully it will destroy to your satisfaction. Um, I've tried to break it up. Link will be in the description to the Steam page. Um, so you guys can try it out by yourselves. Here we go. Cool. Not as cool as it could be. Uh, but it's pretty good. There we go. There you, as you can see, there's a lot of individual parts in this build. There we go, we've got, we've got collision, we've got collision, there we go. It was a monster truck that was bugged out then. And there we go everybody. What is that for glory? How's that for glory? It still kind of breaks itself and I don't know why, but um, I'm going to stop talking now because you will have seen the whole time lapse and it will be a long video anyway. So uh, thanks guys for watching, please remember to like and subscribe, check out my Patreon, check out my Discord. All of that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next.